What's up, YouTube? This is Fourth Star TCG, and I have returned from the uh, wonderful pit of bubbles and rainbows that is university. Um, finally back for the summer. I'm done. I'm finished. I had about two weeks of uh, abject hell in finals. I'm gonna reposition the light a little. There you go. Get a little bit more light in there. Um, yeah. So that's done. Everything's done. I am now one thousand percent back videos regular videos will start coming up a lot more as i will have this wonderful space to record in i didn't even put up my uh my uh play mat but that'll be in the other videos i was pretty eager to get this this one going as you can see we have a nice stack of packages here uh, so in no particular order these are the bcbms that i had shipped to my us address and we are going to crack into them uh the first one this one um as I said, I'm going to try to open everything up on camera now. Anything that I can open on camera that isn't like some ridiculously crappily packaged card that's supposed to be mint. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I really I want to um, just in case there's anything that's ever wrong with this, anything wrong with one of my purchases. Sorry for the extremely loud tape, but I always want to have a record of that, so forgive my opening of everything on camera, but that's how we're going to do it. I'll try to get these open as quickly as possible. This first one is a, uh, and I'll tell you where the stuff comes from if it's not from some secret site of mine that I choose not to share. Uh, this one is from TCG Republic, so there you go. You can see their uh, little thing there. Um, not sure if I would recommend it to you guys. The we'll see we'll see what the conditions of the cards here and then. But uh, they did send one pack of um, freeze bolt, not first edition. I don't know. Yeah, we'll open it. What the hell? Who knows? No, this isn't freeze bolt. This is cold flare. Whoops. Could have a Keldeo EX full art in here, so wouldn't want to leave that um, leave that unattended. So we have. I think this is a Spursha City Gym, a Lillipup. Uh, Petlil, uh, Girder, and a Exploud. So nothing in that pack, but still sweet to uh, have that as a free gift. I did not order that. Um, and here are the cards that I did order. Uh, TCG Republic is famed for not for like having conditions of cards that are all over the place. Um, I've gotten PSA 10 cards from them. I've got cards that are absolute trash. So I'm really, like, I bought these because they were cheap. I didn't, I think I spent a lot on, like, one of the cards in here. Um, but I'll go through them all once I dig them out. I'm going to be careful with the tape here. They're taped in fairly well. All right. So we'll get rid of all this. Very nice to be back where I don't have interruptions and anything like that. Um, ooh, those look pretty mint. Uh, we'll see. All right, so we will undo this right here, and we will see what we have. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, I'll give these a better look over. The first card is Typhlosion EX. Uh, let me get the focus in there. I needed this to complete my ADV2 set. Yes, so this is the final card that I need to complete my ADV2 set. It is first edition as well. Uh, you can't choose first edition or not on their site. So if you do get it, it's pretty cool. Next up is a Rocket Scyther EX. This one is unlimited edition. Centering does look off on this, so I don't think it would be a PSA 10. Uh, this was like five bucks. I ordered it just for the hell of it. Blaziken EX, this is first edition and the centering does look good. So we'll check out the condition on that later. And we also got, oosh, crap, it is first edition. Wow, okay. Let's check the condition on this. Ooh, it is very not bad. It, don't think it would score a 10. Really don't. But a card like this Reggie Rock EX is really, really rare. Extremely rare. So uh, this Shard Hollow, these Shard Hollows came in like one in three boxes. So uh, I'll check the conditions of the other cards off camera. Scyther has a couple nicks on it. 
Blaziken has Edgeware, and Typhlosion, we'll give that a quick look over, has fair amount of Edgeware as well. So nothing mint in here. Uh, this does kind of stink. Uh, I don't think the mintiest card in here is probably the Regirock, which is good. I feel like I would just submit it to PSA just for the hell of it. But yeah, there is like some, I don't know, just some spots of edgeware. I don't know. But this is one of the cards that I was really looking forward to. So it is awesome, even if it's not in perfect condition. Just to have this is great. And it is first edition. Might be a little hint of things to come in that uh, card. Here we are. Uh, I'm going to be careful. This is a nice package, but it does have my address. So um, there we go. We'll open it this way. Uh, this is from Pokemon Gym Freak on Instagram. Uh, what's his elite form username? Swole Poke, I think. Pretty hilarious there. Um, yeah, so I bought some cards from him for fantastic prices. These are PSA cards. So right here, these are some amazing PSA cards. He gave them to me for a fantastic price. It cost me a ton of money, but the price was great for it anyway. Um, all right, so the first card is this Gem Mint 10 Rockets Raichu EX. And this is for the Battle Road Autumn version. Uh, it's non-hollow except for the uh, sort of like hollow label right there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, so this is, I think this is pop one. I'm pretty sure this is pop one. And if I was being extremely picky, I did need this for my uh, Rockets EX set uh, to get all of the Rockets EX cards in PSA 10. I did have the hollow version of this, which came in a special version of the like Rocket Rocket Gang Strikes Back, like a silver and black deck kit or something like that, a special version of that. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty sweet. This is Pop 1, um, extremely rare, very hard to find, and Gem Mint 10 grade. Next is this uh, Deoxys, the Battle Road Spring promo from uh, way back in 2006. This card is incredibly hard to find, uh, Delta Species Deoxys Hollow. It's so hard to find, it's even harder to find in Gem Mint condition, so really happy to uh, get this in the Gem Mint 10 grade. Uh, yeah, this doesn't even, what is it, 129? Why didn't they label it 129 then? <laughs> Um, yeah, I might have to send that in or something to be relabeled, but it is a uh, Deoxys 129 out of PCG-P, extremely hard promo to find. This is pop two. Uh, this is a very, very rare card. So very happy to grab both of those cards. Um, I don't explicitly need them for my collection goals, but they're so rare and so cool that I really wanted to, uh, pick them up just for the hell of it. This next card, I don't know where this has been. Um, I ordered this, I want to say, like, back in the beginning of February, I want to say. Yeah, the beginning of February, uh, I ordered this card, um, and it only just arrived. I'd actually gotten a partial refund from the seller because it hadn't arrived. Is an English card. Um, I don't usually get English cards, but uh, occasionally I will. Just because, uh, just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so this card, it is a Gem Mint 10 Moltres EX from Fire Red Leaf Green. So very awesome to have this in my collection. It is in the old PSA slab, so a little different, a uh, little different feel. But uh, this means that I now have all three English legendary birds from Fire Red Leaf Green in PSA 10. Only thing I need now is the Moltres from... Uh, Flight of Legends in first edition, and I will have all three of the Japanese legendary birds as well. So that's what's kind of spurred me to grab the uh, English ones as well. Uh, they're pretty expensive. Um, I don't really want to say what I paid for this. Um, well, it was it was a good price, but uh, they're still pretty expensive. But very awesome to have this card. Uh, very great to complete that set. Next up, we have this. Um, this is extremely flimsy, which kind of worries me, because it's supposed to be some good cards in here. And I won this off of, I won this at an eBay auction for a really low price, so I was hoping very much that um, everything came well protected. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, so basically what this guy did was he packaged the cards in a pack. Now, of course, let's look at the card. You'll see why I bid on them, of course. Um, so yeah, we got this. Uh, you got a, these are from XY10. You got this, 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 Gold Alakazam, um, and Rocket, uh, Rocket's handiwork. So I bought the uh, Gold Alakazam. Um, love this card. I bought it for, I think, nine fifty was the auction end price. I grab a sleeve real quick. Off my, uh, not the eventual sleeve I'll have this in, but I want to sleeve this up. I'll check the condition as well as... Looks to be fairly mint. Pack fresh card. Looks very nice. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, this is probably my favorite card from the set, if not the uh, Umbriani X Full Art. Um, so yeah, so that's a really cool card. I won it for 10 bucks. Uh, that's probably about half of what it's worth. So that's pretty awesome. It was free shipping as well. Um, I didn't buy any XY10 boxes just because... Um, just because, you know... I didn't like the set. I really didn't. Um, if I'm being honest with you guys, I did not like the set. Uh, last but not least, got one final thing. And this is a Japanese sealed product. We have one final uh, 20th anniversary deck. I will open this right now. Um, I don't want to save this for another video. I've already opened two of them on my channel. If you want to go see those videos, uh, they're probably like the last two videos I uploaded, so just click on my channel name um, to go back there. But I will open this up here. I don't really see why not. I have a sleeve in case I pull a full art. The uh, reason I bought this was because it was <laughs> incredibly low priced. Um, it was like, whoops, it was like $12. Uh, the seller put it up, I saw it, I bought it immediately. $12 and free shipping. So, uh, yeah, there was that. There's your card packet and everything. Um, yeah. So, here is this. Let's hope for a Charizard. And we get a Venusaur, no problem. No problem, no problem. I did actually sell my uh, the EXs I pulled from that deck. But um, yeah, if I didn't say it earlier, we did pull a full art from the first two boxes. Um, yeah, okay, I'll just move the light a little bit more. So uh, yeah, we'll just go through this real quick. So I think that they're one and three, so like statistically I should pull a full art in this, but who knows, not expecting it. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's a Mega Venusaur EX and your two copies of Venusaur EX. I will sleeve those up very quickly as soon as this video is over. And I don't think you want to see the commons and uncommons. Next up is this wonderful, wonderful box that could have the full art beauty inside it. All right, come on, show me. Show me the goods. Show me the goods here. All right, so there's the Gengar Hollow. Uh, oops, that'll get sleeved as well, don't worry. Ghastly, Ghastly, Haunter, Jinx, Psychic, 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 yes! Full Art Zapdos, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted. Oh, baby. I'm sorry, I had no expectations for this. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so going into PSA. Oh, and what a steal off of eBay. Check that out. Check that out. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, man. I don't know if I've ever... Like, I... Absolutely no expectations for this deck. You know, like, when you buy something and, like, you... You're, you have expectations for it. This I had absolutely none for. Oh, that's beautiful. Centering's great. Everything looks perfect. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine. Um, he said he had centering issues on some of them. 
Oh, that beautiful, beautiful Zapdos full art. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. I don't spend 20 bucks on that off of eBay or Yahoo Japan. And then we got some Pikachus, some Raichus, and some Electric Energies, and some other stuff that nobody cares about. So, what a fantastic, fantastic BCBM video. Got some great cards. Um, I might just send in that Regirock just for the hell of it. You know, like, something might, PSA might just, like, have an aneurysm one day and be like, Oh, this one with this Edgeware here, well, I think it should be a 10. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, the centering's good. Who knows? Might as well just throw it in there eventually. Um, two full arts. Awesome. Very sweet. Plus the uh, amazing three PSA graded cards. Uh, I gotta go and pay Scott back what he refunded me. But, so thank you guys very much for watching. I will have another BCBM video coming for you guys pretty soon. That's gonna have some awesome stuff as well, both graded and ungraded cards. That is going to be a absolute blast. So thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to stick around for a lot more videos coming your way. Uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and stick around for all those more videos.